battling heavy rain, wind, and even the risk of tornadoes that, overnight. That's right. Francine made landfall off the Gulf as a Category 2 hurricane, now downgraded to a depression, still triggering flash flood concerns. ABC's Christiane Cordero is following with the latest. This morning, heavy rain and wind gusts are traveling from New Orleans to central Mississippi as Francine forces those in its path to hunker down. We're nervous, overwhelmed, scared. Even though you've been through storms mm -hmm. before. I still feel the same way every time a storm comes. ABC's Matt Rivers was on the Louisiana coast when Francine, propelled by warm water in the Gulf of Mexico, made landfall as a Category 2 hurricane. This hurricane coming ashore as we speak, and we are in the eye wall, the most intense part of this storm with winds up to 100 miles an hour, the threat of power outages increasing by the minute. With it came a flash flood emergency for southern Louisiana. Some areas bracing for up to 10 feet of storm surge and experiencing five to six inches of rain per hour. The heavy rain submerging cars in New Orleans, the wind downing trees and power lines in several nearby parishes. This video shows what crews must navigate on the water as a shrimp boat travels on a river through little visibility. Francine has since been downgraded to a tropical storm affecting Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama, keeping the threat of wind damage, flooding and bringing another challenge. As these bands come ashore, you can get these tornadoes to spin up. Bottom line is it's just the all hazards coming together here in southern Louisiana. Louisiana has activated more than 2,000 National Guard troops. As Francine pushes inland, it's also expected to affect parts of Florida and Tennessee. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.